Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I wanted to try to recreate one of my very old handmade mangas that I originally made up in middle school. Um, I was gonna do a live stream of this, I really was, but I realized how much I really appreciate, you know, editing and doing this all in real time, you know, as it's live would be a lot harder than you think, um, probably take many hours, so I really need to be able to edit it and that way if I have any mistakes I can cut it out. Um, but before we start, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I'm talking about. Um, this was actually made up in 2012. I would always like mark the dates and try to make it look official. I was a bit of a nerd and I still am, but as you can see, the art is terrible. <laughs> it's so bad, but the story is very creative. Um, I feel like it has a lot of potential. It's just, I think it deserves a remake. As you can see, it's very worn down. A lot of people read it when I was in middle school. Um, I was constantly trying to, you know, let people read it. Um, I was actually thinking about selling these when I'm done remaking it. So if anyone's interested in buying like the very original, you know, let me know. Because I do have the second one and the third one. And then I did get some of the fourth done, but it, um, it's not finished. As you can see, it stopped right there. But yeah, um, that's only a thought. I don't know for sure if I will sell these. I mean, they are my babies pretty much, but it is kind of interesting um, and it'll be pretty exciting to try to remake it. So please stay tuned. Um, I do have some exciting news real quick though. If some of you don't already know, I'm definitely trying to get into selling merchandise. Um, I actually have found a way to hand make my very own shirts. Now this is only one example out of many. So it's not only going to be, you know, Inuyasha fan art or Ariana Grande, it's going to be so many other things. Um, you can even commission me to make a custom shirt for you. So for example, if you want me to draw a picture of you and then print it on a shirt, you know, get the design done, get everything done, um, that's definitely an option. You can just message me on Instagram, on Twitter, pretty much anywhere. Um, for right now, these though, the ones that are just like fan art shirts, I actually do have a Makari. I hope I'm saying that right, but I will link that down in the description. I already posted some shirts there. They are for sale. Um, really trying to get into selling these. And then when I hit 10,000 subscribers, hopefully I can actually start um, advertising them down below, you know, the videos. Ooh. So yeah, I really hope you guys will stay tuned. I really, really need you guys' um, support here. I really would like to try to make this my full-time job, but I'm not gonna, you know, stress about it too much if it doesn't take off that quickly. Even if I sold just a few shirts, that would mean the literal world to me. So yeah, again, I don't want to keep rambling. Um, let's get right into the video. So here we are, we're going to remake this book right here. Now I did try to film this video yesterday, actually. I already got some of it done on camera, but I was using a new camera that I you know, recently got with my fiance and the camera died, so. Unfortunately, you won't see the process of this, um, but I will kind of explain what I did. All I did was I took a sketchbook paper thingamajig, I ripped it out, and then I took the paper like this, took the book, and I folded it like so, and that's when I creased it to kind of get like the idea down of where I want it to be. Now, unfortunately, it does not fit all the way, so, you know, there's that, but for the most part, it I'm not too concerned about it. I don't know how I managed to do- oh, actually, I do know. So what I probably did is I cut out paper, because you can see the spine is not covered. Um, for this one, the spine will be covered. And then I took it back off when I creased it, and I put it down, I started drawing, and started coloring. So I'm going to finish that right now, you guys will see most of the process, if not all, and then I'm going to work some on the book to recreate it. Now, if this video does perform well and you guys are actually interested in this, um, I can make like a little series about it. I can work on this every so often, only if you're interested though. Okay. <sighs> so some of this will time lapse probably. I will probably cut some scenes out just to speed it up, but let's get started. Now, I do apologize about the angles, but I don't have a choice. You probably won't be able to see the whole thing. Um, I can't move the camera anymore or else it'll fall off. So, 
apologies. Try to do that maybe. Okay. Now I probably will talk um, occasionally, you know, here and there, but parts where I'm just coloring like this, I might speed it up. I know this coloring looks pretty sloppy um, and I'm not going to deny it, it probably is, but I'm not so good at coloring with colored pencils, um, only for like things that are tiny. When it, when it comes to like coloring the sky, I need like crayons and I don't have any. So this looks terrible. Um, Well, I wish I had a blender, but I don't. Um, this looks really sloppy. I'm gonna try to find many ways to perkin it up. Um, and I will cut some of it out so you guys don't have to see it. Well, um, there you have it. That was 
looks pretty awful. I'm not even gonna try to give an excuse. It looks terrible, but uh, it's really hard to, you know, um, I can't color with colored pencils when it comes to shading like skies. So it looks like a bunch of scribbles and I can't blend it. Um, it's gonna have to do. I guess it wasn't supposed to be perfect necessarily, the remake, but you know, basically, let's just move on. Um, now I am going to put the cover on. And now we are going to glue it on and then tape it over to make it look illuminated, you know, make it look like it's published. I was always obsessed with making things look published. So here we have our glue. I guess this is also like a little DIY, you know, little tutorial on how to make a book if you don't want to do it, uh, you know, digitally. It's a lot better if you do it digital, but I always did traditional and I didn't know any other way, so we're gonna glue on the cover. Get it all over. And voila. Might have, I should have probably put that up a little bit though. I will say once you put it down, it's too late to make changes, so it's a little bit off, but it gets the whole cover for the most part. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same for the back because I'm not really gonna draw anything. I really don't recommend uh, gluing it first and then drawing because, you know, it's all wriggly and bumpy. I would prefer drawing at first, coloring, and then gluing, but since I'm just gonna put words on the back, I don't really need to do that first. Okay. And now the tape. I have to find it real quick. Okay, so I found the tape. Now I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, sorry about the noise. I'm gonna start taping it over. That way it gives it that glossy look. I would try to recommend um, not getting too much air bubbles in. I guess I'm kind of talking like I'm uh, explaining how to do it. So again, this is kind of like a tutorial at the same time. You can either bend the tape over or you can cut it. I probably should have cut that actually because that looks not the best. But it is up to you. So I didn't get any air bubbles except for right up there. You can go ahead and cut that actually. So give me one second. Okay, and now we continue. Okay, so we have this much done. Now we keep going. I'm trying to reuse as much tape as possible. That way I don't have to keep using more.
Okay, so we just need one more because there is this part right here that's not taped. But as you can see, most of it is taped. Okay, so that nice glossy feeling. And I lost the tape. Gotta find it again. Okay, so I believe this is the last piece of tape. Probably not in any way, shape, or form perfect, but like I say, with pretty much everything, it is what it is. I got a little bit of an air bubble right there. I don't know if you can see it. I usually hate air bubbles, but it's not like this is a real book, so. All right, so here we have it. In comparison, um, I do like the shading of this one, not I mean, you can see how sloppy it is here too, but the color choice, I didn't have much of an option on this one though. Um, let me know which one ever you guys prefer. And now we start on the inside. So I'm gonna try to recreate this photo. If anyone's interested but I can actually give like a little description of what the book is about um, basically the story is a lot like the Hunger Games I think I was even inspired by it um, if I'm not mistaken so um, how should I say this it is uh, set in Japan and the main character which is who I'm drawing her name is Akira um, if I'm not mistaken, she's like 16, but basically, um, all of a sudden, I'm not sure if it was some sort of curse, I don't really remember everything, but everyone started being born, you know, part cat, part dog, it was only those two, um, there was nothing else, but it's kind of also like a uh, Romeo and Juliet type thing, but the leader of Japan, the president, or the king, whatever, he made a yearly war basically not to rid of them but he just made a war to where they had you know to battle each other and whichever one win or won they would win more land in japan and by the time all of it was taken the opposite side would have to be their slave i know it sounds stupid and cheesy but i was in middle school probably didn't know what i was thinking but um I really do think it has potential. I would like to actually try to remake the whole thing, make it a lot better. And I do know that there are some other things like the dogs can't be with the cats, you know, like fall in love with them. You can't fall in love with the opposite thing. A lot of silly stuff. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about the actual, you know, manga, story whatever feel free to let me know down in the comments i'm down for any sort of like questions you may have i'm i'm really passionate about drawing and making stories so i would love to talk with it or talk to you guys about it
Okay, um, I know I probably will speed most of that process up, but I haven't been talking for a while. It took me that long just to do the face. Um, I don't really like how it looks, but I can't spend too much time on this, unfortunately. I'm really used to drawing digital, so I apologize if this looks like complete, you know, complete crap. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the hair next. It's been a while, like, it's really weird when you get used to drawing, you know, on iPads or phones, because I did it on my phone for the longest time. It's really hard, you know, drawing with my finger. But, you know, drawing digital, so used to like double tapping to undo and having so much more freedom. I guess I really do prefer digital because it's so much easier. I really don't know how I did it traditional for so long. Although a lot of people think, you know, traditional is easier. So everyone's different, so I guess it depends on the person. Now I know the main character is a cat, so I'm gonna give her some cat ears and whatnot. I think I actually um, had her inspired by my cat Coley, who is passed away unfortunately, but she has gray ears and green eyes because that's the color of my cat. It's really sad thinking about it. Mm. I'm not gonna talk about it on here though. I think I accidentally made her too big because as you can see in this one, she's a lot smaller and you can see the title here, all that stuff. But for this one, I don't have any space. Probably going to hmm, just erase some of it. And then like, hmm. nope, still not enough room. Well, this is gonna be tricky. I know her hairstyle was inspired from someone though, that I do know. In fact, I kind of think I'm doing this terribly. Looks like she has earrings, so I'm just gonna plop those in. That is terrible. Oh well. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry. As you can see, I'm struggling really hard. I'll be right back. Okay, I did a lot of stuff off camera, I'm so sorry, but that's why I really do like the fact that I can edit this. Um, I don't know if anyone's still watching those, so it might not even matter, but I struggled a little bit with her hair. Now I'm just putting in her choker necklace, her collar. Basically, this is how the president would basically keep track of them. And if you're a cat, you have the word C, if you're a dog, you have the word D. I know it sounds dirty, but don't think about it. But yeah, just basically indicating what you are. And it actually has like a little camera inside of it and it tracks them. I can you know, go into so much detail, but it's not really the point of the video. I'm just trying to remake uh, the book. I think after I get this photo drawn, I will have to end it right here though, because this took way longer than I expected. If you're interested, and seeing any more of these things. Like I said, I can definitely do like a little uh, video series. Okay, so we're about done here. I'm gonna do some finish, or sorry, finishing touches. And then I'm going to try to shade it. Okay, 
so I'm actually gonna put the title down here instead, since I don't have any room. But yeah, I guess this could be like a little test to see who's still watching, but if you're still watching, um, please leave a comment down below. Um, trying to think of something to do. Comment down below of your favorite snack or your favorite dessert. I know that's like super random, but just to see if anyone's still watching at this point, because depending on how long the video is, um, a lot of people like to skip. And I, I don't blame you, but some people like to watch the whole thing. So if you are watching, like I said, just leave a comment down below of your favorite dessert. And don't even like say why you're saying it, just say ice cream or say cookies. Can make a little fun thing. I'm really worried that the battery is gonna die or something or run out of storage, so I really gotta hurry this up. Now, let's shade. I should probably try to do some of this in real time, that way you guys don't just see constant, like, to, uh, time lapse. But I'm already at 43 minutes. When I, up, you know, upload the video, it probably won't be that long, because I will edit it. But the fact that I ever, um, I can't talk. I already have it at 43 minutes is really insane. that straight. Okay, I'm gonna call it quits for right now. Uh, really sorry that I only got the cover done and then this page done, but for right now this is the progress. Here is this version. I'm gonna try to get both of them in. Here's that one. So, I really hope you guys like this video. Um, please let me know what you want to see down in the comments. I'm still taking, uh, I'm still making drawing, you know, tutorials, but now that I've almost forgot, um, if anyone's still watching, but I do have a Patreon and I'm going to be launching a lot of new different rewards and benefits. So, rather than you guys constantly 
um, commenting down below what you want to see drawn because sometimes yours doesn't get you know picked or chosen not that I'm ignoring it but I do have a lot coming in at the same time and I can only do ones that are gonna perform well for my channel because it is so you know small so if you want something specifically drawn that you want to see and you haven't you know seen me draw it yet you can actually become a patron of mine um, when I make the tier of course but basically if you pay something monthly towards me you guarantee get that drawing tutorial and I will put your name either at the beginning or at the end or both so if you're interested please check out my patreon I do have so many different other you know benefits and rewards constantly adding new things to it you get early access commissions YouTube shoutouts and you can even uh, you can even become a side character in my mangas or in my webtoon so if you're interested check out the description or the top of the comments but apart from that I'm gonna end the video right here thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with another video here very soon bye bye